So really, we need to be able to work out the dimensions of each of these quantities and also know their SI units as well. So uh, first of all, area, well, the dimensions would be L squared, L times L, length times length. And SI units would be in meters squared. Volume, of course, would be a length times a length times a length, so L cubed. And their SI units are meters cubed. Now, a velocity would be meters per second. So sometimes here, you're going to want to go to the SI units first and then be able to identify the dimensions from the units. So we've got a length and then we've got time to the minus one. So L T to the minus one. Acceleration is meters per second per second. And so dimensions would be length time to the minus two. So L T to the minus two. Now, a force is mass times acceleration. OK, so that would be mass times acceleration. And we've got the acceleration there. And of course, the SI units for a force is measured in newtons. OK, but the fact that uh, you've got the dimensions there really helps you recall that one newton is the same as because it's a mass, kilogram, then length, meter, and then t to minus 2 per second per second. So kilogram meters per second per second. Weight, well, that's just mass times gravity, isn't it? Which is a mass times acceleration, and it's a force. So this would be exactly the same. Now, a moment is measured in newton metres, because you multiply the force by the perpendicular distance. So we have mlt to the minus 2 times by another length. So that would be ml squared t to the minus 2. Now, the gravitational potential energy, energy is measured in joules. OK, now we looked at this um, in a previous video, OK, a couple of videos ago. GPE was mass times gravity times height, so MGH. So you have your mass times by an acceleration times by uh, height. OK, so actually that would be the same as ML squared t to the minus 2. Now, this throws up an interesting problem, doesn't it? Because the dimensions of a moment and the GPE are the same, but their units are different. OK, now this is because um, underlying it is that although the, dim the dimensions are the same, one is treated as a vector, essentially, and the other isn't. So moments work with vectors, and GP doesn't. Um, it gives you a scalar quantity. So although the units are the same, the, um, the dimensions are the same, the units are kept different. So when um, engineers work with this, they keep moments as newton meters and energy in terms of joules. Work done. Again, is an energy uh, force times um, your distance. So um, that will be the same as we had. We saw that a couple of videos ago as well. So that's in joules. Now, power is measured in watts and was the work done over time. So it must be ml squared t to the minus 2 divided by t. So ml squared t to the minus 3. OK, now momentum, now that was measured in Newton seconds. OK, so what we had previously for Newtons for weight or force, um, and then we're multiplying it by a time. So it's mlt to the minus 2 times time. 
So that would be m l t to the minus 1. Now, an impulse was a change in momentum, and so that's the same. Now, these last two we haven't really dealt with previously, but you should know uh, the dimensions and SI units for pressure and density. Now, I always think of these, uh, go back to the units. So when I think of a pressure, it is a force being pushed onto an area. So a pressure is Newton, Newtons, meters to the minus two, okay? So Newtons per meter squared. So if that is the case, then Newtons was our force. And then we're gonna multiply that by L to the minus two, okay? or divide it by L squared, if you like. So that would be M L to the minus one, T to the minus two. So that is pressure. Density, density, the units for density are kilograms per cubic meter. So how much of the stuff do you have inside a volume? That's how I always remember it. So kilograms, uh, per cubic meter. Okay, so what you've got then is kilograms, which is a mass, and that's per cubic meter, so that would be L to the minus three. Okay, and so that is how we can find the dimensions of each of these quantities. Uh, some of these you'll be thinking you can work out immediately. Some of them, I think back to the SI units and then go to the dimensions, okay? So sometimes it's easier that way um, rather than memorizing them all.